The idea for Scientific Animations Without Borders, or SAWBO, arose during a car ride from Chicago to University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in the spring of 2010. Barry Pittendry, Julia Bejo Bravo, and Francisco Serfajel were discussing educational challenges and developing nations. And on a stretch of highway in the outskirts of Chicago, the idea for SAWBO was born. But before we begin explaining SAWBO, let's start at the beginning. There is a vast amount of information and knowledge available in books, academic literature, and web pages. But oftentimes these resources are inaccessible or restricted to many people around the world. Even if the information is accessible, the language used in these resources can be hard to understand. There are over one billion people in the world that for various reasons cannot afford to or do not have the levels of education that would allow them to access written materials that are available on the World Wide Web. On the other hand, there is also local knowledge that is based on techniques and practices developed in over generations in different groups around the world. This knowledge can also be difficult to transmit beyond the individual community or region where it has originated. We are in the midst of a technological and information revolution and need to start addressing some critical questions. What can be done to diminish the gap between existing knowledge and the people who need it the most? What can be done to link local knowledge with scientifically validated knowledge? Can something be done to avoid losing thousands of tons of corn and other crops every year? For the millions of people with limited access to clean water, do they have a chance to improve the quality of their lives? Could we do something to teach people how to deal with endemic diseases in many regions of the world? The answer to all of these questions is yes. The objective of SABO is to make scientifically generated information more accessible to people while at the same time striving to incorporate and validate locally generated knowledge. We have developed a method that keeps us in touch with people and their local institutions. This allows us to better understand their needs so we can develop materials with them according to their own priorities, cultural values, and especially in their own language. In all cases, animations are narrated in the local language, which keeps a message to be transmitted in a clear and effective way to those individuals we are targeting. We select specific literature, scientific studies, and material from local and international development agencies, libraries, and specialists related to a specific topic. Data is compiled, studied in depth to create scripts which contain very content scientific information. These scripts are in turn sent to other scientists, researchers, and extension agencies who send their suggestions and corrections back to us. This allows us to obtain scientifically validated version of the script. And that is how Sabo animations are born. In a simple way, a technique, a procedure, or other useful information can be displayed in a one or two minute video. The content is easy to understand and there is no need to read complex instructions. This makes it possible to reach out to a person or a community with information that can help them to improve the quality of their lives in a sustainable way. Now the question is, what are the means to make this knowledge accessible to people? The answer lies in the technology itself, in that the technology is potentially in your pocket at this very moment. Trends show that more and more people worldwide are gaining access to internet and cell phones, especially in developing nations. We particularly have in mind the massive use of cell phones in the developing world. 60% of the 2.4 billion mobile phone users in the world live in developing countries. Given this reality, the animations are hosted on our website, sustavicki.illinois.edu which is devoted to sharing extension information that is accessible to low-literate individuals. From this website, animations can be downloaded to computers, mobile phones, or sent via email anywhere in the world. In this way, various agencies and institutions worldwide using cell phone networks, social networks, and internet can download animations to their mobile phones and store and share them as needed in different locations, no matter how far away they are from their offices and home bases. 
The first animation was distributed through our partners in agricultural research institutions in West Africa. Later, we created animation to help people in Haiti to learn how to avoid cholera by treating their drinking water in a safe and easy way. Scientific Animations Without Borders has undertaken an enormous yet exciting challenge as we strive to bring people information that will help them improve the quality of their everyday lives. A group of scientists, animators, and extension educators are working together to create two-minute videos that can be sent and downloaded to cell phones around the world. The concept behind this